a Reddit user shared a peculiar incident involving their sleep monitoring app. While using Sleep as Android to track their sleep patterns, they came across an eerie recording. On the night in question, they were in bed with their three-year-old child who was scared of the dark. The recording captured clicks that grew louder over time, followed by the user asking, What are you doing? To their alarm, a deep voice responded, Nothing, followed by more clicks and a voice saying, That's them, or similar. The user couldn't recall being awake that night, and the voice didn't resemble their own or their child's. The Reddit user considered various explanations for this eerie encounter, including the possibility of a home invasion. They mentioned that the clicking or snapping sounds seemed to originate from their bedside, while the voice sounded further away. However, they were unsure how these two elements could be reconciled, as no one should have been close to the microphone while the voice was heard. The Reddit user also discussed other strange occurrences in their home, such as doors being left unlocked, lights flickering, and unusual noises. They expressed fear and reluctance to investigate further or set up security cameras due to the unsettling nature of these events. Other Reddit users provided their own interpretations and theories, including the suggestion that the clicking sounds resembled slapping or tapping noises. Some users speculated on the identity and intentions of the mysterious voice. They ruled out the clicks being a result of white noise from their fan. Subsequent updates revealed no similar voice recordings, but mentioned sporadic instances of the clicking noise waking them, though it would fade away when approached. The user enhanced the audio, sought professional opinions, and increased home security, experiencing relative calm in the months following. The mystery of that unsettling recording remains unsolved. This video captured strange events at a Blockbuster store in Mexico late at night. These incidents include sensations of being touched on the neck, breaths felt in the ears, and flickering lights. Some viewers humorously suggest that a former employee may now be a ghost, restocking movies without realizing their demise. Others make light of the situation, highlighting the irony of ghosts choosing to haunt a video store in the modern era. Skeptics chime in, suggesting various ways the video could be faked, such as using hidden strings or hidden assistants pushing items off the shelves. The debate continues, but this video remains an intriguing and curious piece of paranormal footage. The video titled, Body of a Pig, features an eerie recording from an undisclosed location. The uploader hints at a mysterious group affiliation that he can no longer disclose due to legal reasons. In the video, two men explore an abandoned building and open a red door, leading to a chilling encounter. So far, this way. You get it. The explorers shine a flashlight into a dark area, capturing a photo that reveals a ghostly figure seemingly crawling on the ground. However, a YouTuber named Scare Theater later debunked this video and others by Devin Raymond. It's demonstrated that the eerie audio was actually spoken by one of the people in the video, and the ghostly figure seen in the photo fails to appear in real-time footage. The video compilation presents a series of eerie and unexplained paranormal events captured over several days. The footage includes a full-bodied apparition opening a door, albeit not with perfect clarity, as well as strange orbs triggering motion-activated video recording. The most unsettling part of the compilation documents nightly encounters around 3 a.m. when the children would wake up screaming in terror. The family made the mistake of attempting to communicate with the entity, which only seemed to provoke more disturbing encounters. Two extreme events stand out. When questioned about the entity's intentions, 
the children in another room immediately began crying. When rushing to their aid, they found the door inexplicably stuck shut, requiring considerable force to open. The final event that prompted the family to move was the most horrifying of all. The mother discovered her three-year-old child locked in a closet with objects pushed against the door from the outside, with no one else present in the home to have performed such an act. These events collectively paint a chilling picture of a haunted or malevolent presence in the family's home, compelling them to leave for their safety and well-being. The video in question has puzzled viewers for years. It shows a car being chased by the police suddenly passing through a fence without damaging it. Some commenters suggest that the car may have gone under the fence, while others point out that the top part of the fence appears to be damaged, indicating that the car passed through a weak spot. The video has been featured on television shows and discussed extensively, but no definitive explanation has been reached. Regardless of whether it's a ghost car or a matter of perspective, the video continues to intrigue and mystify viewers. In 1997, residents of Phoenix, Arizona witnessed a series of strange lights in the night sky. These lights were seen by a variety of people, including engineers, pilots, and ordinary citizens. They described a massive, slow-moving object with bright lights that did not resemble any known technology or natural phenomenon. Calls were made to authorities, but there was no follow-up investigation at the time. Some people dismissed these lights as military flares, but many witnesses disagreed, stating that the lights were too distinct and unusual to be flares. The lights formed a V-shaped pattern in some sightings, adding to the mystery. Over the years, various explanations and theories have emerged, including the possibility of classified military technology or even extraterrestrial activity. Dr. Lin, a medical doctor, has been a prominent figure in researching and documenting the Phoenix Lights incident. Despite differing opinions, the event remains unexplained, leaving room for ongoing speculation and intrigue. The video shows CCTV footage of a baby in a crib attempting to climb out. As the baby tries to make its way out, it appears to be lifted by an unseen force, almost as if it's being assisted. In the video, you can hear the baby calling for its mother. This unexplained phenomenon raises questions about the possibility of paranormal or supernatural involvement in the child's actions. Another popular video featured in various TV shows shows a kitchen setting that appears to be actively haunted. Over the course of a minute, the entire kitchen is ransacked by an unseen force. Objects are thrown violently, cabinet doors swing open, chairs are tossed in the air, and more. In this video, an older woman is recording two young girls eating their dinner at home. One of the girls states that she's scared because she saw something. Upon being questioned about what she was afraid of, she begins to cry. What? 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 I'm scared. It's okay. I just turned off the lights, that's all. The other girl starts to make fun of her for being scared and crying. <laughs> what was that? The scared girl gets up and runs to the adult recording. Trying to make light of the situation, the older lady tries to console the girl with some humorous situation. The second girl continues laughing and poking fun at the girl for a short time, but not long after, the girl turns around and stares at the location in question. Turn around, turn around, but you gotta listen to me. Turn around, look at me. What's the matter? <laughs> In 2007, a security camera in Fresno, California captured a peculiar stick-like creature in a homeowner's yard. The camera had initially been positioned to apprehend a thief. 
yet instead it captured the mesmerizing sight of these enigmatic beings, standing at a height of approximately two to three feet, gracefully traversing the lawn. This cryptid has been nicknamed the Fresno Alien, or the Nightcrawler. In 2011, a second sighting of Nightcrawlers was recorded just above Fresno in Yosemite. Legend has it that Nightcrawler creatures have a long history in California's forests, predating human presence. Locals claim to coexist peacefully with them. Adding to the mystery, a series of photos surfaced, and wooden statues were erected in the forest as a gesture of peace toward these creatures. In this video, a YouTuber shares footage of a paranormal encounter involving a Ouija board. The video starts with the YouTuber sitting in a kitchen, with a Ouija board and an electronic measuring device on the table. The electronic device, initially showing zero activity, suddenly spikes to high numbers. Simultaneously, a glass on the Ouija board shatters without any apparent cause. In the background, a cabinet drawer unexpectedly opens on its own. As the video continues, the situation escalates, and we witness the classic signs of paranormal activity. Objects are hurled around the room, creating a chaotic and unsettling scene. The YouTuber mentions that some viewers have suggested that this could be the work of a specific entity known as Zozo, a name often associated with Ouija board encounters. In a park in Rhode Island, a father and his children witnessed an unusual sight, a swing that appeared to be moving on its own, sparking claims of a haunted or possessed swing. The video of this eerie incident was shared on social media and garnered millions of views. Some viewers suggested that this could be attributed to low-level air currents or wind, as the larger swing had more surface area for the wind to catch onto, causing it to swing more violently compared to the smaller swings nearby. While the father seemed convinced that there was no wind, others argued that the sound of wind could be heard in the video. The debate over whether this was a paranormal occurrence or simply the result of natural forces continued among viewers. Some shared their own experiences of swings moving mysteriously, while others pointed out that the swing's design and surface area could explain its unique behavior. Ultimately, this video left many intrigued and divided, with some attributing the phenomenon to the supernatural and others to the laws of physics. In this clip, we meet professional demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren. With over 50 years of ghost hunting experience, they've encountered hundreds of poltergeists. The Warrens firmly believe in the existence of demons and devils, despite some people considering them medieval notions. They have captured what they consider compelling evidence on videotape. In this particular case, they visit a Connecticut home plagued by a poltergeist. The family living in this haunted home has been tormented for months, but their identities are concealed. Ed Warren attempts to communicate with the troubled spirit, asking questions about its intentions and what it dislikes most about the family. During this intense session, the poltergeist's focus shifts in this video, a Russian man is out in the winter woods with his dog. While recording the scene, he captures an unusual sight, a small girl seemingly levitating above an older woman. The girl appears calm and unhurried as if observing or encouraging the act. The dog barks upon noticing them. As the man momentarily loses sight of the girl, she reappears in the frame, no longer in the air, now landing in the arms of the woman. At this point, the woman places the girl on the ground, and the two of them run off into the woods. Viewer comments offer various interpretations, from creative solutions to suspicions of a setup. Some suggest supernatural abilities or hidden talents in children. The video's authenticity remains a topic of debate, with questions about the setting and language used by the man. At the Carlisle Castle Hotel in Australia, paranormal activity has been a regular occurrence, often attributed to an entity referred to as Old Pete. On one occasion, a security camera inside the hotel captured a strange sight, a pale, nearly transparent limb seemingly waving in the air. It appeared as though this mysterious presence was attempting to interact with the camera. In another unsettling incident, surveillance footage recorded bottles of wine inexplicably being hurled from their slots in the wine cellar. 
What makes this event particularly intriguing is that an employee was present when it occurred, and their shocked reaction adds credibility to the unusual event. Subsequent investigations by other employees who ventured into the cellar to explore these bizarre occurrences only raised more questions and concerns. The hotel's history of encounters with Old Pete continues to perplex and fascinate those who dare to delve into its paranormal mysteries. Deep beneath the streets of Paris lies a mysterious and dangerous network of tunnels known as the Catacombs. These ancient passageways, filled with millions of exhumed bones, have remained sealed off from the public for decades. Recently, a video camera was discovered deep within the catacombs, sparking curiosity and intrigue. The footage shows a person wandering through the eerie underground maze, occasionally photographing bones and marking the way with painted signs. However, the video takes a chilling turn when the person starts to run, their breathing becoming increasingly frantic as if something is pursuing them. They drop the camera, and it captures their hasty escape before running out of tape. Despite the efforts of urban explorers to locate the anonymous filmmaker, the catacomb's vast and treacherous expanse makes it a daunting task. The catacombs are known to extend for miles beneath the city, with multiple levels and numerous collapsed tunnels. The mystery of the lost catacombs explorer remains unsolved. On September 10th, 2014, near San Diego, California, something pretty wild happened to Rick Ibarra. Rick, a retired Department of Defense therapist, was just going about his day when he saw something in the sky that made him stop in his tracks. Lucky for us, he managed to capture the whole thing on camera. Now, this thing in the sky was no ordinary sight. Here's what Rick noticed. First, it didn't move smoothly, it kind of stopped and started unpredictably. Second, it didn't seem to be affected by the wind, which was unusual. Third, it had a shiny, metallic surface that caught Rick's eye. Lastly, it had these strange, antenna-like things sticking out from it that moved on their own. This object was about 4 to 6 feet in diameter, and hovered around 400 feet above the ground. At first, Rick thought it might be a balloon, but that theory didn't hold up because of its strange behavior and shiny exterior. Rick didn't keep this bizarre sighting to himself. He shared his photos and videos with his colleagues, hoping someone could make sense of it. But no one had a good explanation. As Rick dug deeper into his research, he stumbled upon records from the Brazilian Air Force dating all the way back to 1968, describing a similar craft. Rick had another sighting just days after this one, with another fast-moving spherical object on the horizon. In this video, an amateur ghost hunter captures a chilling event involving his pets. His golden retriever was deeply frightened, hiding under the bed for about 45 minutes. After the dog briefly emerged, it continued to hide under the bed. The man then explored his home and sensed a presence in the attic. As he placed the camera to investigate, objects started moving on their own, startling him. He fled the attic, leaving the camera behind, and more items moved in his absence. He eventually mustered the courage to retrieve the camera a week later. Viewer comments suggest that animal reactions to the paranormal are significant, as many shared their own experiences with pets reacting to unseen entities. Some viewers found the footage genuinely convincing, while others speculated on possible explanations. In this video, we have a telescopic view of the moon, with a stationary camera situated on its surface. As you watch, you'll notice something rather peculiar. A series of unidentified objects glide silently across the moon's face. What's striking is how their shadows align perfectly beneath them for just a fleeting moment before they vanish into the lunar void. What sets this video apart for many is the apparent trajectory of these objects. Unlike other moon-related videos where it's hard to gauge the object's proximity to the moon's surface, these ones seem to emerge from behind the moon itself, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the footage. For some, the video's eerie quality is particularly captivating. They find themselves drawn to the way the final object seems to smoothly vanish into the moon's shadow, almost as if it were diving into a sea of inky darkness. However, skepticism is never too far behind when it comes to UFO sightings. 
Some viewers pointed out what they perceived as telltale signs of manipulation in the video. They noted that the atmospheric distortion, initially visible, abruptly ceased as the objects disappeared into the moon's shadow, giving rise to questions about its authenticity. Others speculated about the immense size these objects would have to be to appear as they do in the video, with one viewer emphasizing that they'd need to be significantly larger than the International Space Station. Lunar satellites orbiting the moon were also mentioned, suggesting the possibility of capturing these objects with a telescope. Intriguingly, someone with a background in 3D design and photography discussed their own past encounter with a UFO, emphasizing that whether this video is authentic or a result of post-production work, both possibilities are astonishing in their own right. In this quick video, you'll see something pretty wild. At first, there's this lady with a regular face, but then it kinda morphs into something spooky and creepy. Some folks say it might be the camera acting up or her just showing her teeth, and just when you think it's over, her face goes back to normal. But here's the kicker. Not long after that, she turns around and walks away from the group. This footage, featured on the show Fact or Faked, captures a mysterious creature running through a meadow. Although the video quality is quite blurry, the creature's appearance is far from ordinary. It initially resembles a black boar but stands out due to its unusually large size, approaching the dimensions of a lion or tiger. It's worth noting that this creature doesn't resemble a rabbit and appears to move with a feline-like grace, which defies the typical movements of boars. Several viewers have weighed in on the creature's identity. Some debunk the idea of hybridization between a lion and boar, emphasizing the vast evolutionary timescales such a crossbreed would require. Others have shared their own encounters with similar creatures. There's ongoing debate about whether this creature could be a lion or a big cat. Dartmoor has been a subject of such speculations concerning big cat sightings in the UK. Some suggest that while the creature's build and movements are akin to a lion's, the long tail and other features don't quite align with known feline species. Speculation also revolves around the possibility of exotic pets being released into the wild. A change in UK laws regarding exotic animals led to some owners releasing them into areas like Dartmoor. The video starts with a group of friends discovering an abandoned chapel in the woods at night. Curiosity leads them to enter the chapel cautiously. Inside, they find dusty pews, a piano, and a solemn atmosphere. As they explore further, an eerie feeling begins to creep over them, and the air turns cold. Suddenly, they hear the distant sound of the piano playing. I can't, I can't tell you about <laughs> Oh god. I'm so scared. Shit. Shit. Oh man. Oh my god. Turn the light. Turn the light. The music sends shivers down their spines. They turn back and open the door to see a shadowy figure playing the piano in a dim room. Panic sets in as they realize they are not alone in the chapel. And it only gets worse as they discover the only way out of the chapel is back where they came in, forcing them to run by the shadowy figure playing the piano. They make a break for it and run to the exit. The door's locked. The door's locked. What do we do? What do we do, dude? We gotta make it. We gotta make it run. Oh my god. All right, go, go. Eventually, they stop running and realize the piano has stopped playing. The video ends shortly after this. In this short video, we see two young girls recording their screaming and laughter when suddenly a figure appears around the doorframe behind one of the girls. Immediately, the girl recording pursues the figure around the corner. Upon turning the corner and looking up the stairs, a figure of a girl in a white dress is standing at the top causing the girls to scream and run out of the house. The girl recording looks in the windows upstairs to see the ghoulish figure looking out at them. The same figure can be seen quickly moving to the windows downstairs shortly after this. Are you sure? I don't think so. Yeah! 
Oh, what's that? A bear! I told you! I told you I seen something! Quickly! No! I bet no, I don't even know. Up there! See? what I say? Oh my god! what I say? Oh, it's gone! No, shush. No. <gasps> no! 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 <laughs> This YouTube channel explores abandoned mines in the western United States led by a guy named Frank. Frank isn't a ghost hunter and his channel isn't about the paranormal. However, he posted two eerie experiences he had while exploring the haunted Horton Mine in Nevada. During his initial expedition to the mine, he couldn't help but comment on the eerie atmosphere that enveloped it. Stepping into the cavern, he immediately observed its dilapidated condition and the unsettling remnants of abandoned equipment only intensified his discomfort. It was as though an unshakable feeling of being watched had settled upon him. He briefly contemplated retreating from the cave, but a peculiar occurrence caught his eye. Deep within the cavern, a massive 40-pound chain inexplicably stirred, devoid of any discernible cause. That eerie sight proved to be the catalyst for his hasty departure. I don't know why that one chain is swinging back there. Don't know if you can see that in the video or not. Yeah, this mine definitely has a very spooky vibe to it. So I'm going to head back out and check out the other stuff that's here. This is just too wet, too muddy, and obviously something is making the chains uh, swing. So time to get the hell out of here. A year later, Frank returned to the Horton mine his determination to delve deeper unwavering. As he ventured further into the labyrinthine tunnels and approached the ore pass, from which water cascaded, an abrupt and bone-chilling gust of frigid air swept through, accompanied by eerie, unexplained spectral sounds. There's the uh, ore pass with all the cascading water and, um... What the f*** is that? I don't know what that was, but uh, there was a sudden blast of cold air, and uh, I'm getting out of here. This unnerving experience compelled him to abandon his exploration once more. Curiously, the segment involving the eerie sounds that brought an end to his second visit would later be edited out of Frank's video. This video, simply titled Ghost in Indoor Hospital, features what appears to be a ghostly figure appearing and floating to another area of the hospital room. Several months prior to the recording, this family had been experiencing strange events occur around their home. Eventually, the family decided to set up a camera in their home in attempt to capture some of the events. The video here shows several objects behaving strangely like a door opening on its own, and a paper towel roll seemingly being whipped around out of nowhere. But the most notable events of the video show the family dog's curiosity being piqued by something the viewers can't see. While the dogs definitely don't appear terrified as the title states, they're definitely seeing something. In the UK, a haunted ventriloquist doll named Mr. Fritz has found its resting place in Michael Diamond's collection of oddities, known as the Freak Room. Mr. Fritz's story is as unusual as his appearance, a decaying head mounted on a wooden stick. What's clear is that Mr. Fritz's cabinet had a habit of opening itself each morning, even when securely closed the night before. Curiosity led the owner to set up a camera capturing the cabinet's inexplicable self-opening, subtle head movements, and numerous orbs dancing in the recording, adding to the eerie aura surrounding Mr. Fritz. This doll, once a source of entertainment in dire times, its unsettling presence preserved for the unforeseeable future. Like this video and subscribe to Maker.
In the early 90s, a family in Black Forest, Colorado, encountered unexplained phenomena in their new home. Furniture moved on its own, strange voices echoed at night, and shadowy figures appeared. To investigate, they installed security cameras. What they captured puzzled many. The footage showed peculiar floating orbs. Some viewers found it convincing, while others, like skeptics, remained logical, suggesting various explanations. One commenter mentioned a similar encounter with an orb, finding it unsettling but attributing it to a sinister presence. Despite debates, the footage remained a mystery, defying easy scientific explanation. The orbs, with their unusual behavior, continued to intrigue, leaving room for speculation about the paranormal. In security camera footage from a restaurant, a shadowy figure resembling a ghost is captured. Comments on the video vary in opinion. Some viewers share their own eerie experiences like one person who saw a similar shadow approaching their car. Another viewer compares it to a bug on a lens effect seen in other videos. Despite debates, some viewers believe the footage to be genuine, while others remain skeptical. In 2004, a video capturing an unidentified flying object was filmed and later investigated as part of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. This footage, recently brought to public attention, is significant because it represents a rare instance of the U.S. government releasing such material. There's a whole fleet of them, look on the ASA. My gosh, they're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. Well, if there's a like good thing, it's rotating. While the comments on the video vary in their interpretations and speculations, the fact that this footage was declassified and disclosed by the government raises questions about what other classified information might exist. It also highlights the potential for advanced technology, either from other nations or, as some suggest, of extraterrestrial origin. This video is a home video of a child dancing to a band performing on the television. As the child is dancing, he turns around briefly and stares briefly behind him. He sees something, but as he turns around, he's still all smiles and enjoying the music. But closer examination shows a shadowy child figure standing still behind the dancing boy. As the boy continues dancing, you can see the shadowy figure walk away. The boy continues dancing gleefully and it was only later that the family noticed the shadowy figure in the room with them. A family dog named Bossy was usually a very quiet and well-mannered companion, but one day she began growling and barking randomly in the middle of the night while laying with the mother. Eventually, a security camera was set up in the room in an attempt to capture what was provoking Bossy. Many strange light orbs were captured floating throughout the room, and it appeared to be the case as to what was causing the dog to be disturbed in the middle of the night. The camera was able to capture a number of orbs throughout the recordings. One particularly strange event occurred when multiple orbs were gravitating towards the mother. When her son came to join her in her room, the orbs that had previously gathered near her suddenly whizzed away. Another instance captured an orb heading toward the mother one night while she was asleep. But Bossy was awakened and immediately noticed the orb. She started growling and would eventually bark, awakening her owner. Several other instances were documented, but throughout all of the cases, Bossy only interfered in the mother's room where antique furniture was located, particularly a mirror, which she suspects is only harboring activity. In a video, a small humanoid creature is seen peeking from behind a rock. Speculation links it to Native American folklore of little people. These legends depict them as hairy-faced dwarves, sometimes with horns, living near sandy hills and water bodies, like the Great Lakes. Stories tell of their mischievous pranks, like singing and hiding when curious folks search for the source. Legends vary across tribes. Some say they protected children or helped those who kept their existence secret. The little people were believed to create distractions, and were even considered gods by some. Some believe they dwelled in caves, never entered to avoid disturbing them. Reports of tiny human remains in western U.S., notably Montana and Wyoming, claim perfectly formed dwarf-sized beings found in caves. 
Archaeologist Lawrence L. Lowendorf notes these tales often involve disappearing specimens and results, possibly to boost credibility. Lewis and Clark documented local Native Americans' fear of little people near Spirit Mound, South Dakota, though no encounters occurred. In 1995, a video surfaced allegedly showing a secret medical examination of an alien being from the 1947 Roswell incident. This footage gained notoriety akin to the Zapruder and Patterson films. A Fox special report on it garnered tens of millions of views. The video's creator later admitted it was fake, a recreation of real footage they received anonymously. They used some authentic frames, but it's not presented as either real or fake, open for discussion. The craftsmanship in the video is remarkable. It shows a humanoid dummy that bends at joints, has realistic anatomy, and even appears to bleed when cut. It has six fingers and a nose, deviating from the typical gray alien lore. Some argue the creator's lack of prior experience in such realism casts doubt on the video's authenticity. Hollywood experts also expressed skepticism about replicating it in the 1990s, making it a subject of ongoing intrigue and debate. In April 2011, sewage workers captured footage believed to show the rake. It's described as a six-foot-tall humanoid figure with pale skin, a featureless face, three green eyes, and a mouth that opens when it attacks, revealing many small, dull teeth. Urban legend suggests that in 2006, victims began researching the creature, uncovering nearly two dozen historical documents from different centuries describing similar rake encounters. Baffling footage outside the home of Pamela and Rick Carter in Henderson, Kentucky shows a man suddenly appearing on their street, pacing, and then vanishing into thin air. Pamela reported it was the second time this mysterious figure had been spotted. The first time, he marched down the pavement before disappearing. Pamela and her husband couldn't explain it, as there was no trace of him when they checked outside. Neighbors in the area also reported strange occurrences. One neighbor admitted to having a ghost in their house with sounds of running from end to end. When Pamela mentioned hearing these noises, her neighbor confirmed it was their resident ghost. Pamela shared that she sometimes feels like someone is listening when she's alone in the house and has even experienced objects being thrown. These unsettling events have made her consider moving out of her home, leaving her feeling frightened and uneasy. On Instagram and YouTube, NY underscore UAP underscore discussion shared intriguing videos allegedly obtained from a DHS employee. These videos are believed to be part of the undisclosed government footage related to unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP. While the video quality may not be ideal, these clips offer a glimpse into the mysterious world of UAP sightings. Some viewers express gratitude for the authenticity of the videos, hoping that future releases may provide clearer insights into these enigmatic phenomena. In the comments, observers analyzed the footage, speculating on the nature of the objects captured. Others mentioned the resemblance of the objects to drones or high-end remote control devices. Here's a short clip of security camera footage with the hallmark paranormal activity of moving objects. Not much is known other than the location set in Bolivia. A paranormal event occurred in Bhopal, India on June 11, 2011. Security footage captured the spirit of an employee wandering the office after hours. The video surfaced when the security team conducted a routine review of the footage. The specific details of the video or the employee's identity remain unknown. This video depicts a scene on a dimly lit country road. As the driver advances slowly, a distant figure gradually emerges, hobbling towards them. The driver comes to a complete stop, anticipating the figure's approach. A slouched woman in a white dress with black hair, using a cane, becomes visible as she continues her slow advance. While the figure continues to approach, the driver puts the car in reverse, but keeps the camera focused on her. Terrifying screams can be heard as the figure steadily approaches the vehicle. Oh, 
Run! Run! Eventually, the figure halts her advance towards the driver, turning and disappearing into the darkness. The driver decides to move closer to the figure for a closer examination. The figure is discovered standing still, facing away from the driver. After a moment's hesitation, the driver activates their bright lights in an attempt to elicit a reaction. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! no! Oh no! A particularly intriguing example of paranormal footage centers around a security officer whose response sets it apart. In this compelling incident, the officer not only witnessed the apparition, but also had an immediate and distinctive reaction, briefly pausing to gather his thoughts in response to what had just unfolded before him. Look at I guess I saw that sh I saw that sh And then it disappeared over there by the desk. And I'm like, okay, okay. So I looked at the camera, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. Importantly, the camera documented the very entity that prompted such a remarkable response from the officer. This video captures chilling glimpses of paranormal activity, showcasing objects flying across rooms, glasses shattering, and mysterious taps and knocks. The uploader assures their audience these are not isolated incidents, but rather typical occurrences in their haunted house. CBS News has released footage of mysterious glowing orbs floating over New York City, sparking rumors of UFOs. The video shows three yellow orbs orbiting each other, spinning and rotating in various sequences. They maintain a close proximity to each other, forming a small triangle. After some time, the three orbs slowly drift apart, maintaining their relative positions and triangular formation. The camera zooms out again, revealing at least two additional white orbs in the sky. The person continues to film the orbs until they zoom out to show the city block below, where a small crowd of people are pointing and staring at the strange lights in the sky. A homeowner has captured chilling footage of what appears to be a ghostly figure in their new home. The video shows the individual walking through their house, documenting the space. At one point, a door slams shut on its own, prompting concern. However, the homeowner initially notices nothing else out of the ordinary. Upon reviewing the video later, they made a startling discovery. In the footage, a shadowy figure can be seen standing behind the door just as it closes. Additionally, the ghostly figure appears again later in the video, briefly standing in the corner of a room before fading away as the camera pans across. The homeowners claim they were the only ones in the house at the time of the recording, and the video has not been edited or tampered with. The identity and purpose of the entity remain a mystery, leaving viewers to speculate about the nature of this unexplained phenomenon. Deep beneath the icy surface of the North Pole, there's a strange light that's caught the attention of divers. Divers have seen this light on two different occasions, and it adds an eerie glow to the already surreal polar environment. The first time it happened was in 1998 during a tragic dive. Russian divers are attempting to set a world record by diving here. The renowned diver Andrei Roshkov goes in first. A cameraman follows Roshkov into the black Arctic abyss. Both divers are attached to the surface by a rope. Assistants hold on to the other end. In case of danger or exhaustion, the diver is supposed to tug so they can drag him out. Suddenly, the cameraman appears at the surface. But where's Andre? Something has gone wrong. Tragically, when they drag him out from under the ice, he's already dead. And despite an autopsy and a full investigation, we still don't really know what ended this diver's life and this world record attempt. As Andrei Roskov descended, his partner Oleg Bozhok saw a bright light coming from below. Roskov's death at that moment made it even more unsettling. A year later, another dive team went back to the North Pole, hoping to understand what had happened. American diver Bob Wass also saw the same light and described it as something like a chandelier lighting up the underwater world. Scientists suggested it might be due to light refraction, but the mystery remains unsolved, leading to various theories and speculations. 
The source of this light is still a puzzling mystery. A mysterious egg-like object discovered in a basement has sparked speculation and intrigue. The pulsating fleshy mass has left viewers questioning its origins and potential dangers. The video offers no explanation, leaving viewers to speculate and fuel the flames of curiosity. Some commenters suggest it's an alien egg, while others believe it to be a trapped animal or a mutant creature. The pulsating movement adds to the intrigue, hinting at something alive and waiting to be discovered. The basement setting adds an element of creepiness, suggesting something hidden and unknown. The lack of context and information further enhances the mystery, leaving viewers with more questions than answers. This unexplained footage has sparked a debate online, with viewers sharing their theories and interpretations. However, it's important to note that the video lacks concrete evidence and the possibility of it being staged cannot be ruled out. Nevertheless, it has captured the imagination of many and continues to be a source of speculation and fascination. In a video on a men's hair grooming channel, something unusual occurs. An object, a cape, moves by itself in front of multiple people, including customers. It goes unnoticed for a few seconds until one person sees it and reacts. They review the footage and can't explain the movement. The shop's location is mentioned as possibly being built on a Native American cemetery in the past. In the flickering light of evening, a man walks with his child, unknowingly recording a chilling encounter. Suddenly, a ghostly figure darts past in the darkness, captured on camera for the world to see. This video, titled Sightings of Flying Kuntalanak, throws chills down viewers' spines with its glimpse of the legendary Southeast Asian specter. This is a video recorded April 3, 2012, where an individual claiming to be at work captures some paranormal activity with chairs getting moved and knocked over repeatedly. This clip documents a brother and sister's visit to the Menger Hotel, which is notorious for being haunted. The clip begins with the sister expressing her unease as they approach the area. The brother concurs, and they decide to explore a nearby area instead of proceeding forward. While taking a break, the sister suddenly feels a stinging sensation in her shoulder. Your shoulder? Your did I rub crap. Against you did not do it. Did you do that to yourself? I think I rubbed it against the rail. No. You did you do that to yourself? No, I think I rubbed it against the rail. Yeah, it looks like you scraped yourself or something scraped you. I... Ow! Uh, I did not scrape myself. Are you serious? I swear Let's, okay, I hit the rail. we gotta go. We gotta I go. swear I hit the rail. There's no way you could have hit the rail in that type of, like, way. They, are, those are finger marks. Upon inspection, they discover three fresh scratch marks on her skin. Both of them become alarmed and decide to retrace their steps, questioning each other as they go, ultimately concluding the clip. This next clip documents a glass door that was being shaken on its own, as if an entity were attempting to violently break its way in. The shakes get more aggressive as time goes on, prompting a man to come forward and stand in front of the door and examine it, 
seemingly prepared to address any potential situation. Interestingly, this phenomenon appears to be spreading geographically, and comments from viewers indicate that such occurrences are becoming increasingly common. This video claims to have recorded a ghost attempting to awaken a girl while she's sleeping. Objects move on their own, doors open, blankets and pillows are thrown around. Not much else is known. On October 17th, an unexplained incident occurred. A person heard footsteps on the stairs, but when they investigated, the house was empty. They decided to record the sound and it abruptly stopped. However, moments later, the recording captured this. Something ran up the stairs inhumanly fast and slammed the door right beside the camera. Hello? Mike? Tyler? In a video titled, Shape-Shifting Plasma UFO, an unusual illuminated object was captured. Initially resembling a flat surface, it morphed into a Y-shaped figure at a high altitude. The footage left many intrigued, pondering if it might be an alien craft. Comments from viewers expressed a range of thoughts and experiences. Some found it otherworldly, questioning if it could be a machine or creature. Others marveled at its ability to keep pace with the passenger plane. Similar sightings were recounted, with one person describing a mysterious entity transforming into an angelic form. A few speculated about the object's nature, suggesting it might be plasma or even a fourth dimensional object. Others shared their own encounters with shape-shifting phenomena in the sky, while some raised questions about its authenticity or suggested holographic technology. In a video filmed during a church tour, a startling encounter took place. As the videographer explored what they call the Red Room in the church's basement, they shone a light on a figure they believed to be a man. To their horror, this figure got up from a chair and pursued them throughout the church, all of which was captured on camera. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh my god. Many viewers found the footage genuinely unsettling, sparking a range of speculations. Some pondered whether the entity was non-human, given its dark appearance, while others entertained theories about the possibility of disturbing rituals being interrupted. This video, titled Unidentified Object Above Puerto Rico Airport, has caught people's attention. Many commenters were impressed with the footage, noting that there are no straightforward explanations for the object's behavior. The fact that it disappears from infrared and interacts with light leaves viewers intrigued. There's a wide range of speculations about the object's capabilities and purpose. Some suggest it might be involved in underwater observation, while others entertain the idea of potential extraterrestrial exploration. People also appreciate the video's quality and the videographer's tracking skills. The lack of a splash as the object enters the water is a source of fascination, and its sudden split into two parts is puzzling. Some even propose that it could be a futuristic aircraft, perhaps from another time or parallel universe. Security cameras at a hospital in Thailand recorded a wheelchair moving by itself, sparking speculation about a ghostly presence. The wheelchair, once owned by a deceased individual, was seen rolling on its own without anyone pushing it. Hospital staff attributed this movement to a windy night, believing that gusts of wind may have blown the wheelchair. The hospital director mentioned that the wheelchair was manual, ruling out the possibility of remote control. 
While some viewers found the incident impressive or amusing, others questioned why a ghost would choose to ride a wheelchair when free from a physical body. In March 2015, a security camera captured mysterious footprints on a snowy front lawn in a Cleveland, Ohio neighborhood during daylight. These footprints appeared when no one was around. The prints remained visible for 12 hours, but by the next day, the snow had melted, leaving no evidence. Speculation about the origin of the footprints arose, with some suggesting the possibility of paranormal activity it was later revealed that the house had a history of strange occurrences following an elderly man's sudden death from a heart attack around 1994 or early 1995. This video involves security camera footage from a bar. While helping patrons, Dominique the bartender was suddenly struck by a glass, randomly tossed from the wall behind her. Not surprisingly, Everyone involved was confused and unable to explain what had happened. Some viewers have pointed out an eerie shadow passing over the TV screens just before the glass falls. While some are spooked by the video, others question its authenticity and suggest it might be a ploy to attract customers to the bar. In a video captured on May 29, 2018, during renovations of a century-old house, unusual events unfold. The man working in the house initially suspected a squatter, but encountered something different. While confronting strange occurrences, he recorded an incident in the basement. Hello? Who is it? The basement door suddenly slams shut before him, but when he checks, no one is there. A series of eerie events, including flickering lights and mysterious noises, startle him. He drops his phone and flees the house. Moments later, the phone seems to move on its own. After a brief time, the man returns to retrieve it. Commenters express genuine fear and skepticism, debating whether the video captures genuine paranormal activity or a well-crafted hoax. Others remain unsure about the authenticity of the video. In 2019, the US Navy captured footage of pyramid-shaped UFOs. Some suggest it might be related to a TR-3B, but others argue it's just an out-of-focus camera effect caused by a triangular aperture. The video has blinking lights, resembling conventional aircraft. Some believe these are man-made objects, not extraterrestrial, there are theories about how camera optics could create this triangular appearance. Sightings of similar triangle-shaped craft have been reported in different locations. While some consider these objects mysterious, others attribute them to camera artifacts or conventional aircraft. Security camera footage from an empty building, once a hospital now used as office space, shows doors opening when no one is supposed to be inside. The owner has reported seeing figures in the room previously, not attributing it to the paranormal. Authorities were called when a door opened, but no one was found. The surveillance footage captures blinds moving before the door opens, adding to the intrigue. Some speculate on homeless individuals accessing the building, while others ponder paranormal activity. The lengthy video sparks discussion about its authenticity and necessity. This video, filmed in a Mexican cemetery, captures the appearance of a ghost girl. The footage has sparked discussions and reactions from viewers over the years. Some believe it's real, citing the girl's eerie appearance and the chilling scream at the end. Others speculate on video editing or the possibility of it being an animal. Regardless of its authenticity, the video continues to intrigue and provoke debate among viewers. This video, filmed by a user during a vacation with their mom, captures unusual activity in their home. The footage shows something entering a room, causing the cats in the house to become agitated. Moments later, several objects move on their own. 
The uploader notes that their cats, Calvin and Daisy, were unusually aggressive and on edge upon their return home. They also found a few books on the floor and clumps of cat hair in the hallway, suggesting a disturbance. While some viewers are skeptical, others share their own paranormal experiences involving animals, suggesting that animals can sense things that humans cannot. Regardless of the video's authenticity, it has sparked curiosity and discussion among viewers.